What's up everyone? Tim, Tim's ComputerFix.net. How is everybody today? I have another MSI laptop, gaming laptop here that has fan issues. So we're going to we're going to take you along for the ride on how to repair this particular model. This is a MSI MS16H2. That's MS-16H2. And uh, to get this back cover off, Basically, the fans were making noises, which is a common issue with these laptops. Uh, I've done another model that I will post up the link to that right now. But uh, this particular one has regular Phillips head screw. Well, not Phillips head. They have uh, screws that need to be removed from the bottom of this case. I think they're T6. T6 screws is what you need. T6 screwdriver bit is what you need to take this off. Once you take all of these screws out, the cover simply pulls right off. Pretty simple there. There are your two fans. GPU, CPU, I would highly recommend that if you are going to replace one fan, that you replace both. I have the fans here brand new. I'll post a link up uh, below this video where you can purchase these fans. But, um, Let's just get started here. So basically, you would think that just to remove the replace the fans, it'd make it easy for you just by removing these fans and putting putting new ones in. But unfortunately, uh, it's not that simple. This entire motherboard needs to be removed. So that's what we're going to start with now. Okay. Very first thing we should begin with is the battery, which the battery cable is here going to disconnect the battery cable now. So there's that. Might as well work around from there. There's a ribbon cable here. Goes to the keyboard. We'll flip that up. I'll pull that out. Looks like backlight keyboard possibly. Flip that up. Pull that out. Trackpad maybe. Not sure but it needs to come out. That one comes out. For the most part. Like that. A little light board here. That's a ribbon cable for that. We'll take that out. All right. Another looks like speakers here. We'll slide that out like that. This is hard drive. Hard drive ribbon cable. Flip up the zip connector. And we'll slide that out. Working your way up. As you see here, we have these cables routed here. Wi Fi cable, which goes to the Wi Fi card, obviously. Uh, we're going to have to maybe not disconnect them. Let's see if we can keep the cables connected and just remove the Wi-Fi card here. Let's just get a connection here. We'll take that out. We'll flip this up and take it off. Put that there. That's loose. We have... Uh, not sure what connection this is. Maybe I'm not sure, but it's got to come out. The board's got to come out of the computer, so we'll pull that up and out like so. Like that. Here is the video. This is the video cable connector. We'll pull that up. Looks like all those cables are free and ready to be set aside. Just you want to take note how everything's been routed. If you want to take pictures before you get started, it's very important. Once again, and look at that, we already have a fan connector there. That's out. So there's a ribbon cable here. We'll take it out. Like that. Here's your other speaker connector over here. 
remove that very gently. There we go. Um, right here, it's looking like the power jack cable. We'll pull that out. Like we just got have a couple of screws to remove the motherboard. That's this screw here. And there's one down here. All right. And now let's see how loose we are. It's pretty tight there. Catching on. Oh, we got we got a battery. Let's go ahead and maybe remove this battery. Let's see. Remove the battery here. When we remove the battery. There is another ribbon cable that that exposes. I am just going to leave that connected. I think. Lift one side of this board. I pulled away those cables there. Okay, it looks like it's going to come out fairly free. We'll just kind of move these out of the way. Mm. Speaker board. There's a speaker board up here that I can just take out and remove. Like so. And that will help me release and move these cables out of the way. good that's good don't forget I still have this ribbon cable connected we don't really want to peed on that too much so that just snaps into the bottom as you can see so I can just unsnap that that comes right off like that so here there are little small screws that connect the fan to the the actual heat sink itself. Okay. Those screws have been removed. Let's flip this back over. Go back to where the fans are here. And now these fans should be loose ready to come off here. There's a piece of tape on one of these. There you go. So there's a little lip here that kind of holds it into place but there's one fan and then over here another one. Yep, and there's your other fan. So luckily with this model you don't have to remove the entire heat sink. Let's go ahead and replace these fans. That one right here. Yeah. Okay, there's this one here. Um, yep. All right. There's that. Okay. So once they're both in, you want to fl flip it back over, holding the fans in place, set it down, and now you want to put your little screws back in. So once you do that, we want to be sure that the fans spin freely, and here they do nicely. We'll flip this back over one more time, <clears throat> and it's really important to be sure we plug the fans in. All right. Hey, there we go. Right there. We're gonna, now we're going to put the motherboard back. As you have so many cables that you have to maneuver out of your way, I would suggest starting on the back end first. 
like this. You want to make sure that every cable that's exposed before is exposed again. Every ribbon cable, as you go down, another one, another one. Oh, and don't forget, I almost forgot, see? Let's go ahead. Flip this over, turn this around, and we're going to we're going to reconnect this ribbon cable here. We'll flip her back over. There we go. Now when we get to this front end, we want to be sure that all of our ribbon cables are exposed that need to be connected to the board. Another one here. I want to be sure that this one cable was, is routed right. There's one that's a speaker cable that I want to be sure is routed correctly. So let's get that. Come on. Here we go. That looks like it's about right. And we can kind of set this guy into place. There we go. are ribbon cable yep looks right that looks correct good 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 yeah was good. yeah we we'll just simply flip back over our speaker board we have this power jack cable that needs to be plugged in that's done I might take that I might take that cable down there just for good measure. All right. I think we can go ahead and put our motherboard screws back in. There was one here. And there was one down here. Two screws holding this motherboard in. So that's there. All right. Now we'll get the rest of our cables plugged back in. All right. Video cable is now snapped back into place there. We have this other cable that is now into place there. And then, of course, we have our Wi-Fi, which, hey, hey, I didn't have to take off those antenna cables. How about that? Isn't that something? Now, if I can just get this to go back in here, I'd be in good shape. No, that's not right. Come on. There we go. Work there. There's that should work out okay and then we have the keyboard connector check all right we'll plug that into there okay Plug this one into here. There's three ribbon cables done there. Got another one right here. That's done there nicely. Speaker connector. Let's see if I can dig that out. I have buried my speaker connector. See? See, it's just so easy to make mistakes. I did catch it though. Come on. Got my little piece of plastic here. See, I'm going to go ahead and take these two screws out. So, have a little bit of play. And I'm going to lift up, 
see if I can pull this cable out that I buried. See, it happens. Come on. There we go. See there? Crisis averted. You plug your speaker cable in here. And we'll plug the hard drive ribbon cable in here. And I believe, put my screws back in from my motherboard. I believe that, uh oh, I missed one. Have this one here. And then, of course, can't forget the battery. Set that into place. Nice and easy. See, why can't all laptops be this easy to replace a battery or remove a battery? Some of them, they make quite uh, difficult. Then we'll plug this back in. Okay, so at this point, I would highly recommend before you close this back up, I would test to be sure that those fans do spin up. How do we do that? Well, we want to get a visual, so we don't want to put the back on. So what I usually do is I'll stand the computer up on end. I will open it up like so. And let's go ahead and get it powered, get power to it. And let's see if those fans spin. Okay, we've got power. We've got a keyboard backlight. And we have both fans spinning. And we have a post. The computer is posting. Booting nicely, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Very good. Hey, so that's going to wrap this up. I hope that helps somebody out. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, See you soon.